The Borneo Campaign of 1945 was the last major Allied campaign in the Southwest Pacific area during World War II. In a series of amphibious assaults between 1 May and 21 July, the Australian First Corps, under Lieutenant General Leslie Moreshead, attacked Imperial Japanese forces occupying the island. Allied naval and air forces, centred on the US 7th Fleet under Admiral Thomas Kincaid, the Australian 1st Tactical Air Force and the US 13th Air Force also played important roles in the campaign. They were resisted by Imperial Japanese Navy and Army forces in southern and eastern Borneo, under Vice Admiral Michiaki Kamada, and in the northwest by the 37th Army, led by Lieutenant General Baba Masao. The plans for the Allied attacks were known collectively as Operation Oboe. The invasion of Borneo was the second stage of Operation Montclair, which was aimed at destroying Imperial Japanese forces in, and re-occupying the Dutch East Indies, Kingdom of Sarawak, Brunei, Labuan, British North Borneo and the Southern Philippines. Borneo in particular was considered at the time a strategic location for its natural resource, oil. The Borneo campaign was criticised in Australia at the time and in subsequent years, as pointless or a «waste» of the lives of soldiers. Modern historians such as Max Hastings have said that attacking these forces, already cut off from Japan, was a waste of resources. Any rational strategic judgment would have left them to their own devices screened by token Allied forces until their nation's defeat enforced their surrender. It has been argued that the campaign did, however, achieve a number of objectives, such as increasing the isolation of significant Japanese forces occupying the main part of the Dutch East Indies, capturing major oil supplies, and freeing Allied prisoners of war, who were being held in increasingly worse conditions see, for example, the Sandakan Camp and Batu Lintang Camp articles. The initial Allied plan comprised six stages. Operation Oboe 1 was to be an attack on Tarakan, Oboe 2 against Balakpapan, Oboe 3 against Banjarmasin. Oboe 4 against Surabaya or Batavia Jakarta, Oboe 5 against the Eastern Netherlands East Indies, and Oboe 6 against British North Borneo Saba. In the end only the operations against Tarakan, Balakpapan and British Borneo — at Labuan and Brunei Bay — took place. The campaign opened with Oboe 1 by a landing on the small island of Tarakan, off the northeast coast on 1 May 1945 using Australian-built MKIII fullboats. Small parties paddled in the Tarakan region to obtain useful information and observe the Jota oilfields prior to an invasion. On 29 May 1945, the Oboe 6 party, including Sergeant J. Wang Su, was inserted into Kamani's Bay, British North Borneo for close reconnoitering work using a Hone military fullboat deployed from a Catalina aircraft. On 10 June 1945 Oboe 6 subsequently followed with simultaneous assaults on the island of Labuan and the coast of Brunei, in the northwest of Borneo. A week later, the Australians followed up with attacks on Japanese positions around Weston on the northeastern part of Brunei Bay. The attention of the Allies then switched back to the central east coast, with Oboe II. The last major amphibious assault of World War II was at Balakpapan on 1 July 1945. These operations ultimately constituted the last campaigns of Australian forces in the war against Japan. Battles The 1 May to 21 June 1945, Battle of Tarakan Oboe 1. The 10 June to 15 August 1945, Battle of North Borneo and Battle of Labuan 1-21 July 1945, Battle of Balakpapan Oboe 2. See also Japanese occupation of British Borneo Topic Notes Topic References Dennis et al. Peter 1995 The Oxford Companion to Australian Military History Melbourne Oxford University PRESD Hone John 2011 Commando Kayak, The Australian Fullboat in the Pacific Campaign, Hirschbooks.net and Ozatwar.com slash hone. ISBN 978-3-033-01717-7 External links 
Last Battles, The Landings, WW2 Australia, Borneo Campaign at AWM London, Borneo Campaign at WW2 Database. <laughs>